Hello. Uh, got another game here for you. This will be a French defense. Uh, let me switch the board around here so we can see it from the black point of view. I'm playing black in this game. This is a uh, game I played in the FICS. Time was 15 plus 5. My opponent is uh, rated 2264, and at this side, at this time in control, I have a 1724 rating. Uh, what we're going to be looking at is a lack of planning, and as the position gets worse, people get frustrated and you make bad moves. So anyway, I'm just playing black in this game, so let's take a look. White opens with e4, e6. A lot of times I'll play the Carol Khan, but today I thought I'd play the French, which has similarities. Uh, knight f3, d5, e5. Uh, White switches like to an advanced version of the French defense, which is fine, and I played c5. Uh, bishop to e2, knight to c6, continuing my development. Castles, knight at g to e7, rook to e1, and knight to g6. With the idea of putting pressure on the e5 pawn. White plays bishop to b5. Pinning my knight to the king. I played queen to b6. And white uh, captures the knight. And I recapture with the pawn. The reason I recaptured with the pawn is that uh, I do like to eventually advance my, uh, this pawn, for example. And maybe after the exchange, I would uh, exchange with this pawn. And then straightening out my pawn structure. Also, it gives me a quick way to develop my light squared bishop, which is always a problem in the French defense. So that was my general thinking of uh, why we took with the pawn. Uh, white continued with b3, bishop to e7, d3, I castled, knight to c3, and now I played a5, which is not the best move. My idea, of course, was to bring my bishop out and uh, finish my development. But actually, after the game, uh, Fritz 12 told me that the better move was, instead of a5, it would be f6. This is a normal move in a lot of French games where they use the f-pawn to attack white center. I was aware of this move, but at the uh, time of the game, I decided just to play uh, the move I made with the idea in mind of developing my bishop. Just kind of give you an idea how this possible variation might have worked out according to Fritz. I'll show you the moves here. It was knight to a4, queen to c7, bishop to a3, and you can see, oh, I'm sorry, white's um, building up pressure against the, the uh, c5 pawn. Uh, knight takes e5, knight takes e5, f takes e5, bishop takes c5, rook to f5, g4, rook to f7, bishop takes e7, queen e7, and rook takes e5. White won a rook, I'm sorry, white won a pawn, <coughs> excuse me, and let's take a look at the position for just a second here. Uh, Black's got three pawn islands. He's got the two pawns here. He's got three pawns in the center and the lone H pawn. I'm sorry, A pawn. Uh, White's got two pawn islands. He's got his four pawns here on the queen side. He's got a, and then the three here on the king side. He has a better pawn structure. Also, even though his knight's on the side of the board, he can very quickly and easily uh, develop to a better square. Uh, you know, for example, bringing it back and then to uh, here possibly and something like this. But uh, the white, I'm sorry, the light squared bishop for black is still hemmed in by his three pawns. So white does have a better position here, but I'm not losing it. It's just uh, even though I'm down a pawn, I still got plenty of just still plenty of play, and um, who knows how the game would have came out. But anyway. That's what Fritz told me was the better move instead of the one that I played, which was a5. So let's continue here. Uh, knight to a4, queen to c7, bishop to a3, and then I played queen to a7. Actually, I've lost a tempo by bringing my queen to 
c7, and then bring it to a7. When I uh, when he played knight to a4 and moved 12, if I'd have just moved it back, I would have saved myself a temple, and uh, every temple makes a difference in your game. So in effect, I lost a move. So let's get back to the game position. After bishop to a3, I played queen to a7, and now white begins to open things up, and he plays c4. I played rook to d8, uh, lining my rook up against his queen, which is always a good idea. Rook to c1, and this has a latent threat because what, hap what it does is this rook, sorry, this rook, along with the knight and bishop, adds pressure to the against the c5 pawn after the uh, this pawn is exchanged. So I played bishop to bishop to a6, queen to d2, and here he's, he's attacking my undefended a pawn. I played bishop to b7. As you can see here, I really don't have a plan. I, I, I'm just kind of moving pieces around, defending myself from white's uh, attack. And it's very frustrating. Uh, the game continued with c takes d5, c takes d5, and you can see here I straightened out my pawns now, with, like I said earlier. But bishop takes c5 and bishop takes c5, and knight takes c5, and here I made a mistake. I played rook at a to c8, and as you will see, this causes me to lose a second pawn. I should have moved my other rook. I should have played rook at c to d8, because as you will see, after the game move rook at a to c8, he plays knight takes b7, queen takes b7, and queen takes a5, and I've lost a second pawn. Now I'm playing a player who's 500 points higher than I am, and this can be very frustrating. Now I know I'm down two pawns, and I'm trying to figure out the best way to continue this game. So anyway, I played rook to a8. Queen to d2, h6, d4, uh, white blocks the center, queen to a7. I'm just grasping at straws, but still playing, hoping I can figure out something here. But white continues with good play, good plan, a4. He's got two pass pawns on the queen side, and he's going to use them. Rook at d to b8, rook to e3, defends his pawn. Play queen to e7, and he blocks my idea of putting my queen possibly to a3. So I played knight to f8, rook at e to c3. Now he's adding up pressure here on the tile. And then I played knight to d7, rook to c7, and now queen to d8. Queen to c1. Like I said, adding up more and more pressure on this on the C file. I played knight to b6, and now queen to f4. And you can see now that white is threatening mate. I played queen to f8, defending. Now I plays g4, and I played knight to c8, um, g5. And by the way, I've, some of these I've made some moves here that uh, weren't the best, but I'm just going to go through the game as it was played and kind of show you how a good, a really good player takes an average player apart. But anyway, uh, he played g5, and like I said, I was getting a little frustrated here. And I played h takes g5, knight takes g5, knight e7, queen h4, and I resigned because there's no way to prevent the at h7. So that was my game. Um, my opponent played very well. I did not. But I thought it would be kind of interesting to see just how a much better player plays against a, an average player and wins the game. So I hope you enjoyed and take care.